things that those people who are holding the main gas company trying to survive you know, under Bidenomics, they get it, and I think they'll come out, and I think they'll vote, and I think we can get our country back. But you want to tell the people, people here in this room, you have to convince the people in this room that your father won't be still under criminal investigation or perhaps even imprisoned by the end of the year. I don't think so. I mean, I think they look at the insanity, and, you know, every day another story comes out. And this prosecutor hired her boyfriend, who was a divorce lawyer, and paid him, what was it, $654,000 to try something they've never tried before. You know, people are getting, you know, Mar-a-Lago's worth $18 million. Ah, you know, just like Russia, Russia, Russia. It's it's all one big lie. And so, uh, I, you know, I'm not too worried about that at all. I think the regular people, they, they've seen it. You know, if they, try, if they did one thing, maybe they'd, they'd sell it. But when you when you try this hard and you're clearly venue shopping, we're going to pick D.C. and we're going to try a Florida case with a grand jury in D.C., you know, the American people aren't stupid. And, you know, every, everyone wants to try to sell them something. But they, I think they see through the nonsense. They thought, saw through the lies. You know, we were told the adults are back in charge. And look at what's happened to the world in the last three years. So what are you going to tell the caucus to her? I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out when I get up there. I, you know, I, I'm not one of these guys that needs bullet points. You know, I, I go and I speak from my heart. That's, that's what I do. I'm not a politician. I don't do this for a living. I just do it because I believe in it and I want to do what's right for the American people. What do you say about the new voter sentiment that immigration is one of your top issues at the seats now? It should be. It should be. I mean, the Democrat policy is creating, you know, a, a humanitarian crisis like we've never seen before. It's ridiculous. The rhinos and the Republicans in Washington, D.C., well, we'll make it 5,000 a day forever and give it. It's only incentivizing what's literally a humanitarian crisis, people dying on the way up, being raped by the coyotes that are trafficking them through Mexico. For, I mean, it's absolutely disgusting. And that honestly, that the media won't call it out and talk about the real facts and statistics is, is equally sick. And Just Ambassador, have you heard, have you heard, have you heard, have you heard Nikki Haley's on her way? Is that part of the reason you're here? Getting I have no idea. I, don't, I could care less. Yeah. Yeah. We just spoke to somebody who's hesitant between Donald Trump and Nikki Haley. And he wants well, to if they want to be in them? every war in the history of the world, they should vote for Nikki Haley. If they want to get back to peace uh, and prosperity, uh, the choice is clear that it's Trump. Did you want to show up in a suburban area? Totally had nothing to do with it. I just I showed up, you know, where, where I could. I was here last week. I did a bunch of stops, and, and today I got in. And because of the weather here, I got delayed because I had some other obligations over the weekend. This is they just told me to. Okay, I don't know that there was any. Five minutes, talk folks. About now. Five minutes. Yeah. If you need not sign in and you plan to vote, tonight, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You need to turn the hoodie and sign in. They will give you. Right. Okay. You'll need to go back up. If you are not signed in.